so I'm at the quietest mall in all of Lower Mainland, being Brentwood Mall. As you can see, it is pretty dead because there are several towers going up, and once those towers are up and running, this is probably going to be super alive, and I probably won't come here anymore. Um, I'm here to go to Daniel Down. Actually, I just got there, and I picked up bedding because today our bed frame came. It's made by a local, not local, a Canadian company, and um, it's very minimal, very basic, nothing fancy very clean lines but also very groovy design i don't know if groovy is the right word it's more symmetrical design so i hope to surprise my partner about it he's very happy about the bed that we got the mattress it came in one of those um box mattresses and you just like leave it out and then inflates and we've been getting such good sleep my back is feeling a lot better i'm not as cranky which no one likes, even me. I don't like being cranky, but I just am. So I'm hoping that uh, before he gets home, I can surprise him and then we can have a good night's sleep, an even better night's sleep. All right, I'm realizing I don't have enough time to do everything that I want to do. Um, I, I've been working since 10 to two, and then from there I did my recycling. And then from there I got the linen, where, oh, there's the linen. We've got the bedding, and now I'm back home. I'm going to have to start teaching again in 10 minutes, and then that lasts for two hours, and then I have an hour break where I'll need to eat, and I have I don't have time to actually pick up the boxes for from my friend, who and she only lives like two blocks away from me. Um, so I, I want to surprise my partner, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the sheets and do everything tomorrow, but I'm gonna to try to do it so I will also be able to get a carpet and put it in here to make it look more complete. So that's my challenge for me for tomorrow. Whether or not I'll be able to do it, I'm not sure, because I'm also busy tomorrow, but that's just the way it is. And it's fun to have challenges for oneself. So wish me luck, and hopefully I can get through this. Anyways, uh, speak to you later. So my partner just left, and I'm really happy that I'm trying to surprise him today than yesterday. Yesterday at night, he noticed that there was a charge to the credit card from the company that I bought the bedding from, and he was asking me, oh, did you buy bedding? I'm like, yes, I bought it. And he's like, where is it? Uh, I ordered it at Law Online, so it's gonna be shipped to one of their stores. So, which I don't think they do, but he doesn't know that. Um, so he was asking me the color and whatnot, and I told him it was a light gray, and he's like, oh, gray? Oh, it's light? So he's really married to the idea of having like a navy blue or a darker color because, you know, you can't see mess on it. We have a habit of eating in bed, so yes, that makes sense. I do like the light gray, but, you know, I would prefer the navy blue as well. So I'm going to try out a couple of stores today. Hopefully I can find it. If not, I'll just have to go with a light gray and be happy with that and maybe buy another sheet at another time. Anyways, wish me luck. So I just got a home scent slash winners. It was incredible. They had everything I needed and more. They had the bed sheets being the fitted sheet, the uh, flat sheet and two or four pillowcases. I can't remember, it came in a package. I got a rug and then I got three outdoor pillows that I might use kind of to just prop up our current pillows and also I will use them uh, for outdoors as well and then I got two scented candles that were made in Canada and they fit the theme of navy blue so I see things coming along now I'm going to drive to my friend's place pick up the packages so I'm very fortunate to have a friend who's close by uh, to hold these items there's one two and another box below and uh, it just fit. So huzzah for having a SUV because if this was a car, there was no way it could get done. Um, so I'm heading home and time to set up.
this is what I have so far. The matrix frame is together and it's really cool. I like how symmetrical it is. Um, it's just placed with the eyes. I think this is the color that my partner wants. I don't like headboards. He doesn't like headboards as well. So I'm just uh, floofing up the pillows. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit more. Um, I realized that we don't have pillows uh, in king size. So I'll have to get that another time. And now I'm just trying to figure out the accents uh, that will go around the bed. So far I got candles and a plant. More to come. It's done, and without further ado, let me show it to you. So nothing exciting here. It's just the hallway. Maybe one day it'll be exciting, but the main interest is right here. So what are five things that I like about this room? I love that my partner was right. Navy blue is the way to go. As you can see, navy blue against the white wall looks incredible. Um, it's very grounding, uh, the navy blue itself, but it pops against the white wall. And I think that wall looks even whiter now with the navy blue there. And I like white because in my mind, white means clean, it means uh, sanitary, it means uh, fresh. Okay, two, what's the second thing I like? I like how Japanese it is. I've always wanted to have one of my yakatas. A uh, yakata is a summertime kimono. I've always wanted to have it hang above a bed because I don't like headboards. I think headboards, um, in my mind, they just get dirty and uh, they're just more boxes. They, they, they just stay the same. There's nothing organic about it. With pillows, you can edit them. You can move them around. You could you can change things up. It's not static. Headboards, in my mind, are static. Sure, there are beautiful ones, and I'm sure there are some that I would like, but for me, this is the way to go. Um, sorry, uh, other Japanese elements. Um, this bag I got in Japan that was for my first and, first and so far only trip to Japan, so I can't wait to go again. Uh, the third thing that I like is the quirkiness. I feel like quirky is kind of this level here. I have like a level of quirky being the polka dot, navy blue polka dot, um, uh, bag there that I'm using to hold the snake plant. And I love how the green, the snake plant contrasts against the blue. That is actually really nice. I didn't notice that till now. Um, then the teddy bear, uh, the teddy bear's name is Teddy. And then we have Betty bear over here, Betty for a big teddy. And yeah, it's kind of like a quirky level there with also the uh, the humming bee, not humming bee, Ugh, the bumblebee. And over here is a little reading nook that I've accented with crystal. And why crystal? Crystal is not really Japanese. It's kind of different. But one thing that's Japanese is the concept of ma, which is the concept of negative space. So this entire wall is an example of ma, but it's not static. With the crystal, it's refracting light and creating rainbows. And it will change throughout the day because of the progression of the sun in the sky. And the fact that I have this much window here, it's spectacular. So just more quirkiness of my character. Uh, the fourth thing that I like is how I'm making old things new again. Uh, I think crystal is overall very old. Um, and in most places, it doesn't look good because you can't get enough light in. The light here is so good that the crystal just sparkles. And this crystal um, lamp was my grandmother's. And I modernized it by just getting rid of the horrendous clunky uh, lampshade and putting a Ikea light bulb in. Now this light bulb, it isn't that bright, but that's the purpose of it. It can, I, I'm sure it can provide some reading light, but it's really just for a decorative effect during the day and during the night, it has more practicality, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I think that was number four. Uh, number five is geometry. I love geometric shapes. So I don't just mean rectangles, but if you go lower, this bed frame is brilliant. All the angles, the triangles, it makes your eye go on this beautiful journey. And when your eye goes on this journey, 
it's like your breathing starts to relax. You start to become more mindful. And, oh, what's that? And things just become more restful and things can get underneath the bed. Actually, that's something I like too. I can see under the bed so I can keep it clear. But getting back to geometry, also here, I have the, the rug in the same color as the bed so that it's uniformed, but I put contrast in by having different shapes. So again, it's just a very sensuous, rich setting for one's eyes and honestly, it's a pretty comfy bed. I am very happy with this bed. Um, I'll leave some information uh, down below about some of the about the bed frame, the mattress, and some of my other finds. That if you want to duplicate, please feel free. Also, let me know uh, your thoughts about this room, uh, positive and negative. As long as as long as it is constructive, I'm also interested about putting something in this area here. This area feels a bit empty for me. Yes, I like empty space, but empty space has to have a purpose. But I don't feel like this empty space here has a purpose, but maybe that's because there's nothing really outside in the balcony. There's a view, but nothing on the balcony. Anyways, uh, sorry for my ramble. I uh, hope you're doing well. Be safe, be well, be kind, and have fun. Bye. Do you think that this looks nice? Oh my God, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> there. Oh wow, Kevin, it looks beautiful.